Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make a spider out of um, kind of pipe cleaners like we see uh, with this guy here. Right. So first off, uh, get five pipe cleaners um, and kind of line them up so they're, uh, their ends are all together like we see here. And then uh, kind of choose a point roughly in the middle. Right. So take that middle point and just kind of twist it over a couple of times, maybe like uh, five or six times in total. All right, and after you have it nice and twisted like we see here, give this another twist, uh, kind of pinch it over and form like a little bit of a loop like we see right here. Uh, just so it's a small loop, maybe like the size of your thumb or something along those lines. And then kind of take this overlap and twist it a couple more times. All right, so now take uh, the four back uh, pipe cleaners on either side and kind of bend them back a little bit and then do the same for this side. All right, now we're going to take these and these are going to be our legs. So we can kind of like bend them up so they're uh, kind of like bent halfway up. We can do that for all of our legs now. And we'll do the same thing for the other side. So now these two uh, pipe cleaners at the front are gonna be our, our fangs. All right, so we're just gonna fold these back a couple times so they're a little bit shorter, because uh, spiders don't have super long fangs like that. All right, so maybe bend it back two times. And so one, two. All right, so now we have our uh, kind of our nice uh, Halloween spider. All right, so now uh, we'll go ahead and look at some different ones, or different real life spiders to kind of inspire y'all when you're uh, making your own spiders uh, with your pipe cleaners. All right, so now that we've just seen how to make our spiders from our pipe cleaners, we're gonna go through some different spiders you might find around Alabama and uh, they might serve as inspiration for you when you're uh, making your own. All right, so first off, we have uh, one of my favorites, the um, spiny-backed orb weaver. And the scientific name for this guy is Gastrocantha canicriformis. If you look at the abdomen, so that kind of uh, large spiky thing in the photo, uh, that can actually range from kind of white all the way to like a kind of a, a deep yellow. And this guy actually, if you're another animal, might confuse this spider as a like a bunch of, or a clump of seeds rather, uh, kind of caught in a web somewhere. All right, and they uh, spin some pretty extensive webs and they are kind of very busy with their web spinning. So now we have a different kind of um, orb weaver. This one is the spotted orb weaver in the genus uh, Neoscona. All right, so this guy, instead of hanging out looking like a bunch of seeds, will hide in a leaf during the day, which is kind of reflected by its um, kind of dark brown coloration. All right, so now we have here a wolf spider. Um, so this is, uh, its, its scientific name is Tigerosa georgicola. And these guys are interesting because they don't actually um, spin webs or anything like that, like most spiders do. Rather, they uh, hunt in the grass, uh, hence the name wolf spider, because they are um, kind of a pretty powerful predator, even though it's in a kind of um, in the grassy environment. All right. So next up, we have our fishing spiders. So this guy is in the genus Dolomedes. And they are pretty cool. Uh, they are entirely nocturnal, uh, and they'll kind of run the surface of water to kind of catch their prey, which can be anything from um, small aquatic insects to small fish. And so if you actually are kind of walking around a pond at night and you kind of have a bright flashlight that you can shine around, you'll see tons of these guys with their kind of eyes shining back to you at a, like kind of a, a cool, um, kind of like a blue color. Right. And next up we have the long-jawed jumping spider. Uh, and this one's in the genius um, Hensia. So these guys are very, very small, um, small critters, but they have these really cool um, elaborate mating displays where the male will run around and do all sorts of um, funky dancing to impress a female, or all sorts of you know kind of crazy aggressive behaviors to try and scare, scare another male off. So they can be really cool to look at if you find one, and they're doing uh, fun things. And then of course, if you spook them, they can actually jump uh, pretty far away. Right. So this is gonna be our last uh, spider for today, uh, but this one's a ground crab spider in the genus uh, Zeistes. 
And so these guys, like our wolf spiders, uh, don't build, build webs really, but they kind of just hunt around the grass. Um, but unlike our uh, wolf spiders, which can be kind of really aggressive in chasing things down, these guys will just kind of sit tight and wait for their prey to come to them. All right, so hopefully you um, got some cool ideas to inspire you when you're making your own uh, spiders now. All right, so other than that, um, you know, have a happy Halloween.